this is Amber Bell from Cal Business Solutions. Today's topic is how to customize the Dynamics GP navigation pane. So the navigation pane is this section on the side of your screen. And what we're going to do is first talk about how to add an item to the navigation pane, how to change it, and also set up folders, and then make it quick to open up items. So for example, I often use the inquiry transaction by vendor. So what I can do is in any window in GP, you can click where it says File, and then say Add to Shortcuts. I'm going to close this window, and now you're going to see on your home page, I have Payables Transaction Inquiry Dash Vendor. So now to open that window, I just have to click there, and I have that open. So that's really the easiest way to add a shortcut to any window in GP. And again, that works anywhere in the system. For example, if I wanted to go into Purchasing, and I don't even have to have the home page up, and I also want to come into here and put a hold on a payables transaction. I can go File, Add to Shortcuts, close this, go back to Home, and now you're going to see the Hold Payables Transaction um, window as a shortcut. Now you can also take those shortcuts and change the name or even assign a function key, so those F keys at the top of your keyboard. So we're going to do that for the first shortcut that we did. What I do is I right click right on that shortcut and go down to shortcut properties and now I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to assign one of my function keys so we're going to make my F3 key open that window and if I do that when I'm going to go ahead and change the name a little bit so we're going to go ahead and change this to bleep, bleep, and we're going to say F3 and then we're going to say dash APTRX inquiry vendor so we're going to click OK and now I have that, that shortcut right here. I don't have to click it anymore. My mouse is nowhere near there and I'm going to hit the F3 on my keyboard and it opens that window. You can use that same functionality to open up GP windows or the other items that can be added. To add another item that's not a GP window, you can just right click right over that toolbar and say add and you'll see I could add a window, I could add a smart list, I can add macros, web pages, external shortcuts, or one of my favorites is folders. So I can make a new folder, and we're going to take this folder and we're going to rename this and call this month end. Then what I can do is take one of my other shortcuts, cut and then paste right into there. And now I have for my month end, I want to check what's on hold. So it's a great way for you to organize the things that are on your shortcuts. You can add additional items by either right clicking and going into here. If I wanted to add my Cal Tips website, I can go here and say Cal Tips and do my website. C-A-L-S-Z-O-N-E dot com slash tips and that'll add it right to your navigation pane. So there's a couple ways you can add tips. You can do them right from here or from the other thing um, or from um, the window. The final thing you can change in the navigation pane is which items show as tabs in the bottom left corner. To do that, you'll click on these arrows in the bottom left and we'll go to navigation pane options. And for my user, I don't use field service, I don't use project or manufacturing, I don't use HR and payroll, I'm not allowed to go into administration or financial. I really do use purchasing and inventory, so I'm going to click OK. And you'll see now that it's cleaned this up and just reduced it down to the windows that I use most often. For more great Dynamics GP tips and tricks, visit www.calzone.com tips and sign up for our monthly e-newsletter.